Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my 15th episode of Scrap Mechanic Soul Survival. And as I promised, this episode we're going to be doing a bit more work on our base. I have shortened the extra bit we had on here, it used to come out about double this length. But I've shortened it down to just, just this for now, as today I plan on making the elevator that's going to take us up to our future base. So I've pretty much used up all the metal supplies that I had making all of these pipes as I'm pretty sure that I want to make like the elevator shaft sort of thing out of this and we also have all this here I used pretty much all the component kits that we had saved up we had about 30 to 40 of them so we upgraded all of our pistons to max I upgraded three I think I'm only going to need two I thought it'd be safer just to make three and if I want to make things like elevator doors I'll probably need to make some more anyway so I've, I've upgraded three and I've got a, com a controller on level four Shouldn't need it any higher than that. We've got a couple of logic gates and a few switches. That should be all we need. I'm going to have to do some playing around with the logic gates if I want to have like a call function on the elevator. I'm not exactly sure. I think in terms of the elevator shaft, we're just going to have it here. It's going to go up maybe 10, 10 of these. So about 30 blocks, which will be about two max pistons. Um, so I think I'm just going to grab some, some scrap wood or something just to use as a bit of scaffolding for now. Our wood supplies aren't doing too, doing too bad. I think we've got some more over here. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of wood. So we're probably going to use wood for the floor. Didn't even realise I had extra metal there, but that's good. It's, yeah, I can show you my metal. Yeah, this was pretty much all the metal we had. We had some scrap saved up, so if we were desperate we could have made some more, but it's good I found that. But yeah, did I get the scrap wood? I did. Perfect. So I think to start with, I'm just going to take these two bits up, ten each. And then we'll obviously need to make it a square, but uh, the square, like these two corners, I'm going to have to go right down. These ones will go right down eventually. Uh, it's just to start with, I can support them on here. Just I don't want to place these blocks going all the way down to the seabed and then have to remove them. But obviously with this, we will have to anyway. So we'll hope we'll get it right first time. So that's been gone up 10 of these on each side, so about 30 blocks total. And I think I'm going to go up a little bit more. Obviously, I'm going to need to go above where I want the floor. I think that would be a good floor level for where it is just now. But I think I'm going to want to go a little bit higher. And then that'll be... Because I want to go above the lift because I want to have the, the pistons coming down from the top. Rather than pushing it up from the bottom. So I'm going to need to go a little bit higher. So maybe go up another five on each side and we'll see how that looks. Okay, guys. It's about half an hour onwards from the last clip. And I've realised I've made a huge mistake. I've had my mic muted for about the past half an hour, so pretty much everything I've done has been pretty pretty useless from, from a making a video standpoint, but I guess I can just talk you guys through what we've done now. Made a fair bit of progress. Um, start off, we've got all four sides all the way down, and all the way up to where the new base is going to be. Um, up here, we've got um, this kind of set up from here this would kind of connect onto the new wall it'll probably either come out one or the wall would just be right there not exactly sure yet we've got this set up in the middle it goes down into three different pistons if we come down the bottom you can see we would just walk in here I've not yet set up a button on the inside but this is what our carriage is looking like I chose to go with net block because it's pretty much the only see-through block other than glass and I didn't really want to go with glass just because uh, well this is kind of not really a fancy elevator, it's just kind of kind of bridges the gap between what we've got out here and I kind of want to go with a slightly more futuristic looking base or at least a more modern so that's going to kind of bridge the gap <laughs> bridge the gap between our kind of industrially kind of area here and our more modern slash futuristic area you, obviously I'm going to get another button inside but you'd walk in, press the button this would come up, well the barrier would come down this would go up and this is just so we know uh, we, well, we can't walk off the elevator's not there yet. There'd be some more buttons up the top. I've still got to do all the logic circuitry, stuff like that. But it works. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I like this barrier. The design, I've played around with a few different designs. I might change it to the thinner pipe pieces. Um, but it also goes quite slow. But yeah, we'd come up here and then obviously we'd walk off into our base, which isn't quite here yet. Obviously, it, there would be another platform here that would come out and then these bits at the top would connect on, just so it seems all a bit more secure. Yeah, that's just really frustrating. 
I've been talking this past half hour, talking you guys step by step through what I've been doing, and pretty much none of it is like useful. I can't do any of it in the video, but I do apologize for that. What I am going to do just quickly is try this with the thinner pieces, see if that looks any better than it currently looks. Okay, yeah, I think I prefer this thin barrier a lot more than I, well, than the the thicker one. See how it looks when it's open and closed. And obviously, this is quite slow compared to the lift because it's all in the same controller. Controller set about here. Don't want to do it any faster because then I'll probably ragdoll when I get in the lift. I might try giving this a paint job real quickly. Okay, I, th I think I like that. Originally, I did have it as these blocks because I think I mentioned, well, thought I mentioned, but my mic was muted, that I went out to the ware one of the warehouses and collected the pieces for the warehouse barriers. Um, but I had a setup before that I didn't really like, so I've just used a couple of them. And I did have this, but it was way too chunky. So I, I quite like this. It's still got like the hazard, um, hazard colors, so it looks looks fairly nice. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this works. I'm just really, just really frustrated that half of this has been lost. Um, but that's not to worry. So I think for now, obviously we can't get our button at the top set up until we actually have our pop set up. Um, so we're going to call it down just now, and we'll. We'll put down one of our logic, or we'll put down both the logic gates, but we'll only really need to use, well, use one at the moment. And we'll need to change them once we actually build the top bit, because I know it won't work on one logic gate, hence why I made multiple. But we'll have the button about here. I'm hoping I'm able to connect this. It's all, yeah, it's all connected to the same thing. I need to connect this switch to here. Change this to an XR, so I can press it from here. I need to connect the gate to the to the controller. I can press this, it stays up, I press it, it will go down. It'll go up. Probably picked the wrong way around to demonstrate this. I can press this button again, it'll come back now. But if I was in the left and want to go up, I could press that. Gate would go down, we'd go up. And yeah, that seems to work. Um works quite nicely. Obviously, in the next episode, I quite want to get our foundation set up at the very least. I don't know if I'll have enough pipe pieces, but we can always go and collect some more. We've got about four cleared warehouses that we can go and take all of the pipe pieces from. Uh, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Can we get in? Okay, right, we got in and we slid right through. Not to worry. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I would do the logic gates for three buttons. But I'm sure I'll figure out something. I also might... Get a second controller, try and fully upgrade that and set that to this, possibly. Um, and then we'll have both the controllers controlled by this logic gate. Just so that means this is faster, but still have it before that. I'm not exactly sure. I could try cranking it up to full. That does close a lot faster. Then the lift goes up quite fast. And I'm wondering if... Yeah, I'm pretty certain I would ragdoll if I went in this, or at least went down in it see yeah okay it moves down too fast so we'll we'll change it back just to, to this speed we can always connect that to a separate thing later i would take down the scaff actually hmm, do i want to take down the scaffolding i will need it probably next episode actually no i'll make different scaffolding so it'll be a different area that i'm working on i'll take this down for now but now i'm pretty happy with how this looks it's turned out quite well i I think I might add something that connects maybe this to here. I'm not entirely sure. I have an idea actually, I just don't know if I have enough pieces for it. I need to make a couple more pieces, so we'll we'll try out this. Might as well fill out the episode with some more time since I'm gonna have to cut out half the half of it where I wasn't talking. Okay, if I remove this piece it shouldn't fall because it's it's all connected at the top. Okay, good. So if we have this in here, this here, we could have one of the T pieces, I can rotate it correctly and stop going past it. I have one of the T pieces like that. Then we could just connect it like this. And that just kind of ties the entire thing all together. We'll try it on this side and see how we see how we think it looks when it's all, all put together. I, I think I quite like that. We'll see how it looks like with the barrier down. That should rest nicely just above it. Yeah, I think I quite like that. 
I think without something there, it just feels like the whole barrier is pointless if I could just walk out the side. Obviously, I'm not going to walk out the side because I know how to walk in a straight line in a video game, but I don't know. It just feels quite nice. I might paint this to a different color. Um, so it kind of matches this. I'm not exactly sure. I think I might just keep the elevator shaft in its light blue. I also made the pistons light blue, as you can see. These corner pieces I made light blue as well. Might change the entire thing to a grayer color. Uh, potentially, potentially brown to match the elevator shaft. It is quite cramped in here, I think I mentioned. Um, I mean, it's going to serve its purpose. It's only going to fit one player, but it's a solo survival series I'm doing. It's not like I need to... Not like I need to make it to fit more than just me. Um, but yeah, no, I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out. It, I do think it looks... It looks quite nice. It performs quite well. The only thing I think I could work on is having this go down faster, but I could play around with a few more controllers. If you look on the underside, you can see this. I don't think it's that big an issue. I may just move the bricks all down one layer. Um, but yeah, I can't really move it down because I still need that to show through here. I probably do have enough bricks just to put down another layer, but we'll see. We'll play around with it. Pretty pleased with how it connects here. Although, now that I'm down here, maybe connect that like that. Yeah, I think I'll do that on both sides. As for how this meets, I think it's worth, since I have the concrete on me, just having that like that. And then setting this one more. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice. And possibly, we'll see how this looks from the top side. Change that to that. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this is. It is a little bit um, over the block, but if I was to say move one of the pistons one further down, it would be way too far under. And I could keep the pistons like that and potentially just have like a block sticking out for it to set on once that closes and this goes up. We're able to place blocks like that. And we'll try it how this works I mean yeah that is pretty clean to be fair let me try and get a bit nicer looking bits for it to sit on yeah I think I'm just gonna have it looking like that it doesn't look too bad from down here and it, it works from up top I'll just quickly run around we don't have the toilets to get back up anymore from here so we're gonna have to take the long way around that's not to worry once we've got all this built we shouldn't really need to go in the water for anything other than clams and stuff and now that sits on nicely, we hop in, press the button, wait for that to go down. That is quite annoying. I'd rather just go right up. We'll maybe test it so that they move in sync, so that the barrier goes down at the same time. Because of the speed of it, it probably would work. We'll test that. So it's up here. We're able to go in. It moves down. Yeah, I think we're just going to stick with that. Because of the speed of it and the speed of that, I mean, we can pretty much get in at the same time. So, yeah, we'll we'll leave it like that. And I think that's just about going to do it for today. Uh, again, I'm really sorry that I've kind of not really talked through this too much. I've tried to explain exactly what I've done after after the fact, but unfortunately, yeah, I muted my mic because I need to I need to um, sneeze or something like that, and just completely forgot to unmute it. So yeah, bit of a rookie mistake there, but I mean, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video nonetheless. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.